Museum Subbo, the untold story. The untold story. <laughs> Tell them your dad was here, yeah? Can we tell them yeah, that? Yeah. That was shocked, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're here today in uh, Cebu City. This is uh, Barangay St. Nicholas. And um, we're going to meet my friends, our friends, the, the Karen brothers from Eskrima Karen. Philippines. <laughs> okay, and, and here we are. We've got June and Alfredo Karen waiting for me, or waiting for us. I'm Vicente Karen Jr. And my father is senior, Vicente Karen, Inting Karen Sr. I'm the junior of my father. And the old gym is just here, now being used to uh, store motorbikes. I am Grandmaster Alfredo Karen. I am the son, the eldest son of the late uh, Grandmaster Twelve Breed, the Siparis Grandmaster Vicente Intincari. The old style is not using the live hand. The old style is just extending the arms. You see, no lah. My father is using this one. So this is the area this uh, where you're This is the place that we have trained. We, right. we have some uh, student of my father came to just to train him. So this is back in the 1980s? 1991. And I'm teaching also uh, we have some uh, friends uh, learning about Skrima. I'm the chief instructor of Skrima Karin. Okay. And you're also a grandmaster in Dossi Paris. Yes, correct? at the age of 55, when you, it comes to 50, you are now in Dossi Paris, you are now a uh, grandmaster. You're called grandmaster. Okay. So can you tell us when did you first start learning a screamer? I'm learning my screamer during my teen days, younger days, at the age of 16 years old. Uh, with my father, he always uh, called me whenever there will be some foreigners coming to our Philippines. Yeah. My father learned his screamer when uh, he was 17 years old. At the height of the World War II, when the Japanese was uh, about to invade Cebu, and his personal mentor was his uncle, uh, Unsing Ibanez. He joined the uh, the resistance forces, uh, the guerrilla under the uh, Bulo Battalion. For three times, he was declared missing in action and considered dead. Si Paris is now a, a martial arts club that most focus on Iskrima Arnis Kali. He was Mumay Kanyete who facilitated, facilitated his entry to the Si Paris club. There are so many members, and one of the members is Delpin Lopez. Delpin Lopez is one of the best of discriminators in his time. He is a wrestler, a boxer, and he is a very prominent and respected uh, personality at that time. They were friends, they were good friends. So my father functioned as a police officer, but he knows that the mayor hired him because of this Delpin Lopez always bullying him, always threatening him. Delpin Lopez keep on his advance. So my father drew his gun. He said, if you will come forward more, then I will shoot you. So Delpin Lopez was, so my father shot him. My father was arrested, put in jail, into jail, among with the gangsters that he had been arrested before. The turbulent years of his crema. So my father is to defend himself. He stand alone because the Disciparis, his group, is not siding with him. They are afraid with Delpin Lopez. So this is the basketball court where there used to be a basketball court. And my father was, when he was in prison, he was to unwind himself and do some uh, uh, shooting basketballs with his friend and somebody attack him. He long wood. And when the second attack was made, my father made a good defense and made a knee clock to shield his uh, more attack to come. 
and my father shouted for the guards to help him. So when the guards came over, my father let go of his uh, attacker and it was bluish, he's bluish. So this place, once again, to tell you, is very historical for us, very memorable, especially my father. Because of his uh, uh, abilities of Filipino martial arts, he was able to defend himself, he was able to survive. What my father did in the past, I tried to develop with, my, with myself.